When the firstborn was destroyed, the death angel came. And, and the children of Israel, their firstborn was protected by the blood. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, which the Egyptians are saying to do, were drowned. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea. Endurance will get you through. Your focus on the Word of God will get you through. <laughs> You're not distracted by it. Now, here they've got uh, Pharaoh and his armies chasing them, gaining ground on them. So they got one place to go that's forward, or they're dead. So they're going to choose God. Here's another point you got to choose God and faith in God, or you just captured and you're going to be in slavery. Or are you going to die right now? All right, so they passed through by faith. They passed through the Red Sea. It took an act of faith to part the sea. It took an act of faith to walk on that dry ground, which is amazing. It's a total miracle of God. And so God made a way where there was no way I said, God made a way where there was no way, where naturally there was no way out of this situation. There was no way. Uh, Pharaoh told them they could go finally. He just said, go after the death of the firstborn. He said, okay, just leave. Yeah. You're tired of the frogs and the flies and, you know, blood in the water and so forth. The stench. So they let him go. But then his heart was hardened and he chased after him. But when they got to that Red Sea, the sea parted. By an act of faith, the sea parted. They walked on dry ground across that. In other words, they got through. So God will take you through. It may be a process, but God will take you through. And you see it over and over, over again. If I go through the fire, I'll not be burned. Go through the flood, it shall not overflow thee. Go through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Go through the wilderness. That's the point. And in every case, there's obstacles. In every case, there is adversity. In every case, there are challenges. But nevertheless, we go through. Hallelujah. And in every case, we go through one way, by faith. We go through by faith. We get through the Red Sea, we get through the sickness, we get through the weakness, we get through the challenge emotionally, mentally, physically, financially. We get through. And how do we get through? One way, by faith. But your faith has to have a focus, and your faith has to endure through the process because if you don't endure, you don't get to the finish line, and you don't get through the adversity. You die in, or you get stuck in. You die in the wilderness instead of going through the wilderness. You, you die in the flood instead of going through the flood. You die in the fire instead of coming out of the fire like the Hebrew boys did. Right? So God has a way for us to get through whatever the devil throws at your life. Thank you, Jesus. There is a way through. There is a way out. There is a way. God says he will provide a way of escape. There's a way to get through your challenge, get through the adversity. Whatever it may be, God always has a way out. He has a way through. He has a way for you. And God has made it in and through Jesus Christ. And there is a a finishing of your faith. There is an end of your faith. There is a manifestation time. There is a having time. There is a possessing time. And it's through faith and patience that you inherit the promises. And if you will endure through the testing time, you will get to the other side. And you will be at the having point. 
We pray that this message encouraged you as you continue to discover who you are in Christ. If you want to learn more about this ministry and how you can become a partner with Purpose, visit davidsharonministries.com.